Hi Libra, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Anique, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates and what doesn't, you can leave for another healing homie. With that said, let's get into your intuitive message, okay? So Libra, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Some of you could be um, dealing with someone that's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that is younger than you. Others of you, you could be dealing with um, just energy of you needing to surrender to spirit, okay? Because you need to take a break. You need to let go of control, let go of always feeling like you need to control things on how things are going to go. Um, for others of you, you have you've gotten yourself caught up again. Okay, and that's all because of the choices that you chose to make. Some of you, you need to realign yourselves. You need to get back grounded. You need to have those honest conversations with God, whether you're happy with God, mad with God, whatever. But you need to sit down and, and realign yourself. Okay, some of you at this time, you're learning spiritual lessons at this time as well. And some of you are going to learn that you're going to have to sacrifice certain things. And I feel like that's your ego. Um Libra, you're going to have to sacrifice that ego if you want the best to happen for you, because being egotistical is not going to help you in any way, shape or form. For some of you, um, somebody could be telling you that they're going to see a therapist or you could be telling somebody that. For others of you, it's time to heal your heart chakra at this time. Your heart chakra may need to be realigned because you're not in tune with your feelings, with your emotions, with um being nurturing and loving to yourself and others, being kind and compassionate to yourself and others. Uh, some of you guys, you are dealing with childhood traumas at this time. They keep resurfacing. Uh, for some of you guys, the reason why you do the things that you do is because it stems from your mother, okay? And that goes for a lot of you Libras, okay? Where the, the, the energy that's between, the dynamic between mother and child is something that you struggle with. And that's why you get yourself in situations that you do. There's somebody too that wants to offer an apology or extend an olive branch towards you as well. For others of you, you could be becoming a mom where you know you need to heal your, your situation with your mother so that when you bring a child into this world, they don't have to deal with the same traumas that you had to go through, okay? Or for some of you, if you already have children, you need to heal that trauma that went on or the traumas that went on in your life with between you and your mom because if you don't heal it, your kids are going to have to heal it. And that's if they have the strength to do it because some kids aren't built to sit there and deal with certain things, okay? So you need to do your due diligence and heal your issues so your kids don't have to deal with those issues because I'm going to tell you guys right now how you treat someone's son how you treat someone's daughter that karma whether it's good or bad will go on to your children it will go on to your children if some of you are also dibbling and dabbling in magic you may want to sit there and think twice about that this ain't the time because it will backfire. And it may not backfire on you, but you don't want that to backfire on your children. So be mindful of that, okay? For others of you, you may want to find new friends, okay? You want to engage with new people, people that are balanced, people that, well, emotionally balanced, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically balanced individuals. You do not want to be dealing with people that are all over the place at this time. You do not want to deal with inconsistency, confusion, and chaos. Like Spirit is really asking for you to get it together, okay? Because a, a lot of the stuff, like I said, that you're going through right now, Libra, and that you've gotten yourself caught up in, is due to past things that you still have not healed from, okay? Some of you could be very, very naive at this time, okay? Especially when it comes to love. 
very naive. So be mindful, okay? Look at the facts, okay? Look at the facts. Don't believe something because that's what you want to believe. No, look at a person for who they are and what they have shown you. It's just that simple. If a motherfucker keeps showing you who they are every time, when are you going to start believing it? You can't fall in love with people's potential. That's just not it. You can't fall in love with people's potential. If they're not actively doing what they need to do, you need to take a hint. Their words need to match their actions. It's just that simple. For some of you too, um, you could be motivated by something, okay? You may have gotten this grand idea or somebody gave you this grand idea and you're, you're motivated by it, okay? And you're going to work towards that energy. I do feel too, a lot of you guys, it's time that you step into your power. It's time that you embrace the power that you have and utilize it in a beneficial way for you and others, okay? Um, I do feel too that for some of you guys, you utilize your power to repeat karmic cycles and entertain things that you really shouldn't. Some of you are misusing your gifts, misusing your power. So be mindful of that as well, okay? Because spirit is always watching. And then you wonder why certain things happen. Well, you could do right or you could do wrong. It, it, it's up to you. There's still going to be consequences behind it, right, Libra? So you of all people should know what could happen if you misuse the power that you do have right? If that resonated with you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning here, if you're returning healing homie, what's up gang? Um, my phone cut off on me because my alarm went off. So for some of you guys, that right there was a confirmation that you needed to hear. So take heed to that for those that it resonated with. Again, if it resonated with you, like, subscribe, and share. Um, how I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first, then I get into the divine feminine, then the divine masculine aspect of your zodiac sign because we embody both energies. And at the very end, I do random messages that include messages from your person. So if you want to be nosy and get the tea on what they're thinking, what they're doing, um, stay tuned to the very, very end. And with that said, if you need a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. And if you guys are on Instagram, check your girl out at The Honest Homegirl because I do offer Zodiac horoscopes, daily root awakenings, and live collective readings for you guys over there. So with that said, let's just jump into your reading, Libra. What's going on with Libra? Some of you guys... You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female. But others of you, you could be dealing with someone, well, not someone, this could be you, okay? Where you, because it, it was in the reverse, okay? I flipped out on the reverse if you saw it, but I'm the type of person where I flip the energy over because I want you guys to embody the best energy. But for some of you as a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, when it comes to your emotions, um, whether this is you or somebody else, they're not themselves right now, okay? This could be you because this is, you know, the air sign female energy. So you may not be yourselves at this time. You may not be feeling well at this time, okay? You may lack um, the truth from something. It's like you may be wanting to seek the truth, but you don't know the truth. Some of you may want um, direct contact with someone or direct communication from someone and you're not getting that for some of you you it's like you need to be more mature for your age as well and you guys need you're more codependent than independent at this time so you need to work on that okay you need to definitely work on that okay because i need for you to be honest with yourself. I need for you to be okay with pain and loss and, 
and understand that all of that happened for a reason and be fit and be fair in certain situations and you know be a quick thinker think about the things that you're doing and have more discipline with yourselves okay because at this time that's not what you're you're doing yeah there's a lot of mental and emotional healing that needs to occur especially when it comes to finances your relationship with finances need to improve so you need to think highly of money you need to look at money as just a tool you need to look at money and and resources as something that can come to you come to you easily and effortlessly okay you have to understand that your relationship with money um, determines how successful you are determines if you're going to gain more receive more the thing is if you are paying bills and you're mad that you're paying bills well guess what every time you get a bill you're going to experience that me on the other hand I look at my monthly bills as monthly luxuries and I always have more than enough to pay for my monthly luxuries. I'm happy to pay my bills. Why? Because I get to enjoy Netflix. I get to drive a car. I get to buy food. I get to buy these things. And the thing is, I'm grateful for that. Your mindset when it comes to your finances and stuff like that will not improve unless you improve how you think about the situation. If you're going to think the worst, well, guess what? You're going to get the worst. You think the best, you will get the best. But you have to sit there and really ask yourself, what is it that you're doing and believe in when it comes to that? Yeah, you have male ancestors around you at this time who want you to basically get it together, okay? You need to use more logic than emotion right now at this time, especially when it comes to money and your resources. Because right now, you guys is looking to have a whole bunch of fun and entertaining things. Some of you are entertaining, you know, karmic cycles that you keep going in circle time and time and time again. Some of you are actually entertaining the fact that you need to go see a therapist because there's some mental and emotional healing that needs to occur. And I'm proud of you for that. Okay, for others of you, you maybe talking to your ancestors at this time you um some of you could be dancing singing okay it could be an ancestor's birthday and you're celebrating their their life at this time a male ancestor whether this is a brother a father a grandfather a uncle a father figure okay i'm being reminded you may just have been reminded that this was around the time that they were born or the time that they you know crossed over to the other side. Okay, so there's definitely male and female air sign energy here. We have Get You by Daniel Caesar is playing right now. It's like your ancestors want you to balance out the masculine and feminine energies within yourselves at this time. They want you to be very assertive. They want you to use your intelligence at this time. They want you to be very disciplined at this time. They don't want you to be anything but the person that follows the rules or do things the right way. They want you to do things the right way. They want you to have clear thinking. They want you to be on your toes, like on your P's and Q's. They want you to have all your I's dotted, all your T's crossed, all your ducks in a row. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely entertaining the idea of healing, okay? That you need healing, that you need you know, peace and, and and harmony in your life. And if you need to go and speak to somebody, then that's what you need to do. There is pregnancy. Somebody is pregnant. And if you are pregnant, like I said in your intuitive message, you need to heal a lot of things within you before this baby comes. How you feel, and then we have... What bird is that that just flew over here? I think that's a cardinal bird. There's one, two. 
two cardinal birds just flew past my window just now and one is sitting on a branch and you want to know what's crazy libra look at that short that i had because i normally don't do shorts on on here on youtube but there's a short that i did right after reading for you and um there was a bird's nest that i had found i don't know if you could see the shadow of the birds flying back and forth but there was a bird's nest after I had did your reading and my Amazon package came. I opened the door and I looked up and it was a bird's nest with two baby birds inside of it. So some of you could be pregnant with having twins. And whatever day that was, check out that reading too. Because that reading resonates with you probably right now. This reading might not resonate with you until later. But somebody's definitely pregnant, so congratulations. And for some of you, again, you have to understand that just because you want something doesn't mean that you need to go and have it and buy it, okay? Because I'm getting a habit of you buying stuff just because you want it. And the thing is, you need to have your priorities in order first before you get what you want. It's like your ancestors is like, listen, chop, chop, get it together, Okay. You have to sit there and control your sexual desires. Because um, for some of you, you you're, especially my male Libras here, you guys are more concerned about healing a sexual energy for your own benefit. And it's like, do you have everything else in order? You worried about lust and, 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 and passion and sex and... It, some of you need to heal your 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 root chakra, okay? Some of you need to heal your heart chakra. Some of you need to heal your root chakra. Some of you need to heal both your root and your heart chakra. Like, because there's something here that that's, has you off balance, okay? Some of you need to do some cord cutting. Take a cord cutting bath for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, like this. You guys is entertaining. Some of you could be entertaining a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you are entertaining a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male like yourself. Some of you are entertaining a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female like yourself. Some of you is over here just spending your money to just have fun. And it's like your ancestors is over here like <laughs> you need to get it together. Okay, you want certain things in life, you are going to have to get it together. You, Especially if you have a baby on the way and you're about to be a mom, you got to have tunnel vision. You got to know exactly what it is that you want. Some of you, whoever you're pregnant by, this person could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, your focus should be on home, stability, security, moving. Yeah, some of you need to move to a new home. That's going to be the best option for you is to move if you're pregnant. I feel empty inside, Libra. You may feel numb right now. You don't know what to feel, what to do, what to think. And this is why you're behaving the way that you're behaving. Uh, you heard what J. Cole just said. You need a dude that's going to put in your mouth. No, the hell you don't. You need somebody that's going to love you unconditionally, that's going to value you, that's going to um, provide and protect you and not you over here providing and protecting them. Okay, you need to sit there and really get your ducks in a row. I'm over this, Libra. I'm so over this energy right here because I just feel nothing at all. And it's like your ancestors and spirit guides is like, you got to get your shit together. You got to get it together. You got to think better. Okay, you got to be more selective with the people that you bring into your life. Okay, you got to sit there and screen these motherfuckers. These people is on job interviews when they come into your life they have to show and prove they got to walk the walk the, the talking that they do they better be able to sit there and walk that shit 
You don't want somebody that's doing all this talking and not enough walking in that in that energy. But let's see. Let's be nosy. Let's see what, what they got to say, Libra. Let's see. Person that's on your mind or what you may want to say to your person. We're going we to see. You may be getting a hey, big head text from somebody. Can't just leave it off that way. Slow down. Can I spend the night? You could be dealing with the Aries and do not disturb. You may have somebody on do not disturb. They may have you on do not disturb. Okay. Aries energy is taking the lead. Okay. Taking care of self. Making sure, you know, you're fine. Aries is going to make sure, you know, they're at the top of the food chain. Okay. They're not going to be at the bottom of the barrel. They want the best of the best. It's just that simple. Aries is the head. You need to think. Okay. If you've been moving too fast in certain situations, you need to slow your butt down and figure out what you need to do for self. If that means you need to put people on do not disturb so that you can get the peace that you're seeking and needing, you do so. And then it says, what do you see in me? And then you got the ops at the bottom over here. So be careful. You over here got people watching, spying, lurking. Be careful with that. Somebody is the ops, okay? Be mindful of that. Let's get um, I'm gonna get homegirl advice for you guys. Let's get some homegirl advice for you. We have adolescent traumas, so some of you deal are dealing with childhood traumas, adolescent traumas. One week from now is when this reading may resonate for you, or one week from now is prominent. One week from now could be when that person going to hit you with the hey, big head text. Get a personal reading. So if you need a personal reading, you can hit me up or hit up another tarot reader or divination reader to get you a personal reading. It takes courage, too, for you to step into your power, Libra. Okay? It really does. You got to do what's best for you. And then it says meditate to clear the clutter. Young adulthood traumas. And will it matter in three years? Um, take it easy too is at the bottom of the deck so you guys you got a lot of healing that needs to happen because the thing is you keep getting yourself caught up in situations due to you not healing the more you heal the more you value yourself the more you appreciate yourself the more you put yourself on a pedestal it's like you really got to teach people how to treat you libra it's just that simple and then we have friendship make a date for a play day with one or more friends some of you guys need new friends Okay, and I told you that. You need new friends, you need new company, all right? You need people that are, are going to where you're trying to go, okay? You need you can't be the smartest motherfucker in the room, okay? Let's just say that. You need new friends. You want to be a millionaire, you need to surround yourself around millionaires. You want to sit there and be a mom and a wife, you need to surround yourself with women that are high value mothers and wives, if that's what you wanna be. You gotta surround yourself with the type of people that you wanna be like. Not even really be like, but you know, have that frequency, that high vibrational frequency. You don't wanna be around low vibrational people at all. You don't wanna be around people that are users and abusers. You don't wanna be around people that if they see an opportunity to, to manipulate or get something out of you type of energy. You don't want to be around that because you'll become that energy. Be mindful of the people you sleep with as well because you will have soul ties to these people. That's why I probably mentioned cord cutting. You want to take your cord cutting bath to get that energy up off of you. Why? Because you got good things coming to you. Some of you are getting a new car. Some of you guys are moving, okay? Some of you guys... Um, you're just going to have abundance coming your way and you need to have the right people, places, and things around you, all right? And the thing is, some of this good stuff ain't going to come to you until you sit there and start clearing that energy from around your, your energetic field. But Libra, that was your meet reading. Um, I don't know if some of you are dealing with an Aries because I was about to say Aries again. So check out Aries reading and Taurus reading, Libra, because that may be, you know, significant to you guys. And we have the weekend by what's this girl's name? SZA? S-Z-A or whatever. That could be your situation too. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, I love you guys. 